Good Monday morning, everybody. It is another sunny, wonderful day here in the hills of West Virginia. And I'm delighted to be spending a little bit of time with you before you head out and about and take care of some of the many activities you may have planned for today. Uh, I know our Canadian members celebrated Victoria Day last week. And this, for those of us who live in the United States, is Memorial Day. Uh, it is a very special time of the year for those of us uh, to re stop, reflect, reflect, and remember. And coming from a small town in southern West Virginia, I grew up with this truly being a Remembrance Day. This is, and I know it may sound ghoulish to some of you, but it was our tradition in the hills of West Virginia that on Remembrance Day, the entire family would trek to the cemetery and clean up the graves from winter and uh, put out fresh flowers and reflect on the people in our lives as well as those who had given all uh, during military service. It was a, quite a special time for the family. Um, we actually, I guess you would say, visited with our loved ones who were no longer with us in the real world. And it was a time of sharing memories, uh, recalling people that had gone before us and the legacy they had left behind. And conveying messages and stories about those people uh, to the younger generation that was coming on. We even took a picnic lunch with us um, and uh, spent time in that area uh, next to the site where my great-great-grandparents were uh, interred, there was a pet cemetery, and quite a few of our family pets had ended up in that cemetery. So we kids would even go over there and visit with pets that were no longer with us. Um, I think it does us all a world of good to remember and recall lessons learned uh, from those who paved a path before us and experiences that we had that guide our lives now in the present time. Uh, I think it does good to reflect, uh, to rejoice in the, the memories of good times shared, of lessons learned, of progress made, uh, to rededicate ourselves. Uh, it's not, for me, a time of sadness. It's a time of treasured memories, of recalling those who meant so much to us for so many years and gave so much to us during the time that they were here with us. Um, and that's how I look at this day. When I got up this morning, um, the sun was shining and it occurred to me that there have been so many sunshine on all of us, everywhere, so many days of our lives. And we take that for granted that the sun will come up in the morning, but it's a gift, you know. Every day is a gift, and we need to make the best of it. Um, I have plans for today, of course, as many people, uh, I think, do. And uh, one of them does revolve around cooking. And so... The last night before I went to bed, I made a traditional dessert, or not dessert, uh, it's sort of a salad uh, that can be picked at uh, before dinner's ready because it seems like everybody, when they gather together, even though the meal is not quite all ready to go on the plate, they want to snack on something. And for years now, I've made this very simple recipe um, and I threw it together last night. It's just um, a head of broccoli, uh, a head of cauliflower, and two carrots uh, chopped up in bite-sized pieces. Uh, and you throw all that into a pot of 
boiling water and blanch it for a couple of minutes until the broccoli turns a really bright green. Then you take it all out and drain it and uh, run cold water on top of it. Uh, and let it drain really, really good. Then you put it in one of the large Tupperware bowls. I love Tupperware. And I pour uh, about a half a bottle of no-fat Italian dressing on it. Put the lid on it tight and store it in the refrigerator. Uh, it's better if it sits overnight. Uh, actually can set almost 24 hours because that gives the flavor of the Italian dressing time to permeate the vegetables. And every once in a while as I go by the refrigerator, I'll shake the bowl and turn it upside down uh, just so that everything is coated and marinates really, really well. When it comes time to start setting things out, that always goes out first with some little plates beside it and a big spoon and people just fill their plate with these blanched vegetables with this lovely uh, fat-free Italian dressing on it and snack at it during the course of the prep time and so later today that will come out and people will begin visiting and snacking and talking and having a glass of iced tea and just the usual things that you do as a family and sharing stories. Um, so if you've not tried something like that, it's a good finger food, uh, very quick, very easy, very healthy even, uh, and something that can be made well in advance as you're making all your other plans for the meal during the day. Uh, it's become, dare I say, a tradition in this particular family, and it was a recipe that was shared with me, I can't remember how many years ago, by a fellow Tops member. Um, it fits all the needs of my family, uh, plus many more, and I'm not even sure they realize it's healthy. Um, and I'm certainly not going to tell them because that may change the dynamic of how eagerly the younger members would eat these vegetables. Uh, so it'll be our little secret. Um, and while I was making that uh, last night, I was thinking about all of the mem Memorial Days uh, that have gone before and the members of our family who are no longer here uh, and how grateful I am that I had time with these amazing individuals. And I hope that you're going to have the opportunity today to just relax, take a break, breathe a little bit, and enjoy allowing those good memories to flood into your life and buoy you up, uh, boost your spirits, uh, give you joy, give you peace, uh, reflect on the good times. I, I find for myself that when we lose someone we love, it is so difficult because we're not through loving them yet. We still want to keep on loving them and making more memories. Uh, and it's hard to accept the fact that they are there in person to show our love and our affections to. Uh, and we hope we've loved them enough. And we wish for one more hug, uh, one more time. I know, um, I guess some of the funny things that I reflected on this time, I have an aunt who was in the military in World War II. And she was what we call in uh, West Virginia a ringtail tutor. Uh, she absolutely was the funniest woman I had ever known. And she was a little bit inappropriate at times and definitely took no quarter from anyone. And uh, just like a pirate, I would give anything to hear her relate one of her dirty jokes again because nobody loved them more than she did. And before she got halfway through the joke, she was already starting to laugh. And that's a memory I treasure. 
Um, I treasure uh, memories of everyone that has gone before. Uh, in many ways, uh, my grandmother, I treasure her memory. And I recall sitting on the edge of the bed while she rolled my hair in rags and made ringlets, sort of like Shirley Temple. Uh, she was uh, confined to her bed when I was a child. Uh, she was quite ill. Uh, but I had special times with her and special memories. And I treasure those uh, those memories help shape me to be the person I am today. Uh, I adored my dad, and in my mind floods with memories of him. Um, I've shared memories of uh, my granddad. Uh, so many of my family were in service. We were lucky uh, that none of them were killed in service to our country and got to come home for us. So today is even more special for me in that regard because they did not have to pay the ultimate price that so many had to pay to give us all the blessings that we treasure. And this isn't meant to be uh, any kind of political statement at all. It's just meant to be reflecting and being grateful uh, for all that have helped shape the life I have and the life I enjoy each and every day. And so I hope for all of you, as well as for me, that we'll find joy today in recalling. We'll find joy in reflecting. We'll find joy in remembrance. And we'll find joy in relaxing and spending time with each other as we go about our daily activities today. I wish you a wonderful day wherever you are. I wish you happiness. Uh, hopefully there'll be a few fireworks in your areas. There will be here. Uh, I'm still in awe every single time I see fireworks. I, I'm one of the people in the crowd that go, <gasps> Oh, oh, I just love that. Uh, so I plan on going to the park in just a little bit and taking some quiet time for myself and doing a walk. Uh, we're doing a way and only at my chapter today. So as I finish my walk in the park, I'll slip over there and, and uh, check in and make sure all is as it should be there, and then I will get on with the celebration that we have planned here. Uh, I hope you have time with friends, family, loved ones, uh, and I, have, I hope you have time to share with each other your memories and your hopes for the future and make today truly a memorial day to the lives of all of those who have gone before us and a day filled with heartwarming remembrance of the good memories in your life. Have a great one. I will talk to you next week. Bye for now.